Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you my daily makeup regimen. So before we start, I know a lot of people have wanted to see me without makeup, so feel free to take a second to comment about how either ugly I am without makeup or how much prettier I am without makeup. You know, the standard stuff. You done? Okay, let's get into it. So today is not going to be a makeup tutorial because I know most of my viewership is male. So it's just going to be kind of like what I do every day to get ready. And if I'm not talking and actually going through it like I am going to be right now, I can usually do this in like 10 to 15 minutes max, which is pretty freaking cool. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to clip back the hair. So I don't have hair in my face with these pretty little bows. Got to find the pretty bows first. And as you can see, I kind of have shitty skin. So um, the first... The first, like, notion that you have when you have shitty skin is, like, oh my god, dude, you know what I should do? Is I should dry it out. And what you really need to do is you need to make sure that you have moisturizer on your face either way. Because if you dry your face out, an oily skinned person will just, your body will be like, oh my god, I need to produce more oil. And then you end up with even more, you know, pimples. So, yeah, as you can see, I don't have the best skin, but it's not, like, really bad right now. Sometimes it's actually worse. So, the first thing we do, other than pin the hair back is we take the eyelash glue and we put it somewhere a, a little bit of it like this and that's because the eyelash glue takes about 15 minutes or something to get tacky enough to actually make the eyelashes stick and stuff and that's like the hardest part and I apologize for the annoying sounds outside we have buses and trains and all sorts of machinery outside for some reason and I'm not wearing my nice um, what's it called? Microphone, because, yeah, if I do that, I won't be able to do makeup properly. So the first thing I do is I use, not this one, Max Studio Fix in NW22. And I want to make sure it's a little bit darker than the actual skin on my face, because I tan my body, but I don't tan my face in order to keep the skin on my face nice and, you know, younger, longer. So I apply in circles all over the face. I don't know if I'm going to speed this stuff up or not. And make sure you pull it down on the neck a little bit, otherwise you're going to have a line. Because no makeup in the world, no matter how good matched it is, is going to actually not leave some kind of a telltale sign in really nice light. And I'll, at the end I'll show you guys my setup too, for how I do makeup. I just got to put it everywhere. Maybe I will speed this up. I'm trying not to do this in a tutorial manner because I, I'm not like claiming at all that I'm really good at makeup. This is just what I do. And this is not like model makeup. I would wear a lot more uh, different types of things. Like I would highlight my face, contour it. I would add uh, eyeshadow, more eyeliner and everything. Make sure you get right at the edges there. And this is medium coverage, but what you can do is keep adding it on, and um, it'll cover more. So depending on your skin condition at the moment, that's how much you're going to want to put on. And the nice thing about this is that it's powder, it's a powder foundation, and I know a lot of people, like for me, I was uncomfortable going with a powder foundation, but the powder foundation is actually much better for oily skin because it's not going to be like goopy or um, really caked on, which is nice. It's just like a light powder, but it still provides a certain level of coverage, which is cool. So the next thing I do is I take this. This is like a, a weird, it's called Pro Conceal and Correct Palette in Medium, and it's a MAC uh, product as well. And I take this one and I put it over any imperfections and just kind of dab it in with my fingers. I know a lot of um, pro makeup artists will use like brushes for this kind of thing, but fuck it when I'm not doing serious stuff When I just kind of want to do an everyday makeup And I do this whether I am staying in whether I'm going out Anything but modeling like modeling requires a little bit more makeup because of the strong lights that you have on you And I think you can tell without makeup how I am actually a blonde because I have like no eyelashes or eyebrows Which is kind of funny Okay, and then I also take a lighter color like this, put it on both fingers, 
and then I just kind of dab it underneath my eye to kind of lighten up my eyes because I think that on my face my eyes are the best feature because they're nice blue bright and big eyes and you have to make sure that it is uh, even and then you want to put it a little bit in the corner of the eyes oh, I keep saying you wanna I watch too many makeup tutorials mostly because I think the girls are pretty not really because I want to learn anything um, because I'm kind of set in my ways I taught myself makeup and it's just I, I like do try out new things but I never really stray from what I feel is right, even if someone else tells me that, oh, what you're doing is wrong, you know? And then I have um, baby wipes because if I use my fingers, I wanna make sure that I don't have anything residual on my hands because that makes everything gross. So what else, let me see. Oh yeah, I first put in eye drops, I forgot to do that, but yeah, I won't b bore you with putting in eye drops because I hate putting in eye drops. And basically it just makes your eyes, you know, not bloodshot for the day. And I, I, I'm in front of like really bright lights all day, whether it be streaming or modeling because of, you know, soft boxes and stuff like that. When I do Terra Talks, everything is like really bright lights. So my eyes tend to um, get pretty bloodshot, which is annoying. Um, what do I do next? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, where is my thing? Okay. I use these wedge, these wedge thingies to kind of make sure that everything's even. And I don't want any excess, and then I kind of drag it down on my neck as well, just to make sure there's no line. Especially over my eyebrows, push things up toward my hair, because otherwise I'm going to have, like, stuff on my hair. Like, that sucks. And then, the only thing I do in terms of contouring or highlighting or anything is I use this. It's Mineralized Skin Finish in um, Soft and Gentle, and it's really shimmery. So I only use it here and here to kind of bring out my cheeks and my cheekbones and then maybe a little bit on my neck to make sure. And I also use it on my cleavage a little bit as well because it's shiny and it's pretty and it's just a little like dusty shimmery thing. Uh, next thing I do in any order basically is I curl my eyelashes to prepare putting on mascara and um, I don't really care too much about the mascara because my eyelashes are really long but they don't curl and that's why I just pretty much prep them to put fake eyelashes on because I like fake eyelashes. I think fake eyelashes really frame the eyes and make them like more like pretty girly, you know what I'm saying? It's hard for me to talk and do this at the same time. I'm kind of interested to see if any girls will actually watch this video at all, because that would be kind of cool. Um, and maybe sometime down the line, I can actually get really good at makeup. Cause I do makeup for myself for like almost all of my shoots, because I'm good at doing it on myself, because I've done it for so many years. But um, yeah, I never really do it for anyone else. So I clean off my lips a little bit. To make sure I didn't get any powder on them. And then I use, where is my, I have this thing full of um, lip glosses and I just put on a lip gloss. Like so. <laughs> I don't wear lipstick because I don't like it. It's too heavy. But I will accentuate the lip gloss with um, a lip liner like this. And I fill in the corners and make sure the lips are lined properly. Making sure the color, the corners are colorful and the color is even actually makes your lips um, pop more and look larger. And then sometimes I'll go over the top with a, um, with a lip plumper, which doesn't really do anything. It just adds um, a little bit of mintiness to your lips, which feels good. I like it. And 
and then I do my eyebrows because I have kind of blonde eyebrows, as you can see. So I use like, uh, what is this? It's called, it's by Ardell. It's Brow Defining Powder in Taupe. That's the color, T-A-U-P-E. And I just take a little bit on this and then I just go over my eyebrows, my existing eyebrows. I don't really like it when people like shave off their eyebrows and tattoo them on, that like freaks me out. I like to just accentuate them a little bit with this because I think it looks a little bit better and it frames the face nicely. And when you are, okay, I'm gonna give advice again, but um, your eyebrows are meant to be sisters, not twins, so it's okay if it's not exactly perfect. And I've had a lot of coffee today, so I am kind of jittery. But yeah, um, now all I have to do is I actually forgot my, um, I guess I'll put on new ones. Okay, so let's see. These are the lashes that I use, they're by Ardell, and everything that I use is um, animal cruelty free, including the brushes, they're all synthetic brushes. Um, places like MAC will tell you that non-synthetic brushes are okay, because they aren't cruel to the animals, but I think any animal captivity, <coughs> oh, I'm dying, any captivity of animals is cruelty, especially if you're like shaving them and making them be naked. I mean, if I had to stay around and have my hair shaved off as some kind of slave instead of being in my habitat at my computer, I'd be pretty pissed off, so yeah. Um, and this is human hair, not animal hair. And what I do is I have a hard time taking these off the stand. Okay, you can tell which one is, well this one actually doesn't, you can't tell as much, so this is the left eye. And I just run it through this glue that has been sitting here to get a thin layer on the, um, whatever. <laughs> Aren't I good at this? And then um, I let it sit there for a second. And then I take the second one and do the same thing. And this is my favorite part of the makeup. We're almost done, actually. And it, this is only like a 12 minute video. So as you can see, it doesn't take very long. So this is the right one. And this is the left one. I'm so, so shaky from the caffeine today. So you kind of just bend it and blow it. And this is the hardest part, by the way. It took me forever to master this. A lot of people say using tweezers and sticking it on. But in my opinion, that's like... I have the best dexterity with my actual hands, right? And it sucks when my nails get longer. It's like, ah, it's hard to do. So, yeah. Now, I just put it as close to the lash line as I can. Hold it there for a second. And just kind of pat it down. And then when it gets a little bit more tackiness, I wait for a second. Oh my god. Put the other one on. Oh no, it needs a little more on the edge. Put the other one on. I have really big eyes, so I never need to like cut these. And sometimes the, the inner and outer sides will just come up. So what you do is you kind of mold the natural lash lashes, latches with the false lashes so that it's as close to the natural lash line as possible like that and do the same with the other eye make sure that it is all on there properly so the more you have your natural lashes actually conform with those lashes they kind of become one and you can't tell as much that you're wearing fake lashes and these ones look really natural so it's not as bad. Let's see. And the glue will dry clear. Oh shit. I hate it when my fingers get sticky. This is like a process that is a pain in the freaking ass. Seriously, all girls know what I'm talking about. When they want to do this. Most girls only do this for like parties and stuff because it's such a pain. But yeah, there you go. And now I look like a doll again. But I'm not done just yet. I have one more process after these dry a little bit. 
is the eyeliner. Now I don't use a lot of eyeliner, I just use it in the corners to connect. Oh, stay on. Do what I tell you, bitch. To connect the, um, the end of the uh, fake eyelash to the corner of your eye, if that makes any sense. And this lash is not listening to me very much. So technical difficulties. There we go. And I just go like this, just a little bit. <laughs> like you can't even really tell unless you see me up close, you know? There you go. And just a quick run over with my brush, no extra powder, just to make sure everything's in place. I'm having a serious, like, <laughs> caffeine attack. <sighs> and to kind of make them stick together better with the real eyelashes, just like that. And there you have it. It's my everyday look. And that's it. And even with the talking in the intro, it only took me 16 minutes. So yeah, it's pretty simple and easy once you get it down. And now I change into something nice and I actually do my hair, which isn't much. I just kind of, okay, this is what I do with my hair. Um, I just go like this and kind of fluff it up. Just a little bit of back combing. And then I'll, so it's like, it's called teasing or back combing. And a little more on this side. That's pretty much all I do after I blow dry my hair, which I blow dry it on um, low settings. And yeah, um, so I'll show you my setup now. There's a hair in my mouth. <gasps> okay, so now that I've changed and I'm ready for the day, here is my setup. I have my Tara Babcock chair and all of my makeup there. And it's kind of messy right now, but whatever, you know, right? It's all good. And I have studio quality lights on the sides so that I can see in detail my face while I'm doing makeup. And I have a couple of my tear sheets and magazine things up there that I really need to add more to because it's awesome. And yeah, that's it. So there you have it. That's how I get ready every single day. And uh, I do this whether I go out, whether I stay in, whether I'm going to the mall. Uh, usually not to the gym. I usually go to the gym, then I come home, then I shower, then I do this. So I usually go to the gym without makeup. But um. Yeah, it's really simple and it's not that much makeup. I don't use eyeshadow, I don't use eyeliner all over my eye just in that one little corner right there. I don't um, highlight or contour, I don't use over the top powder. I just use a powder concealer which is actually thinner than a, than a liquid concealer. I um, don't use lipstick, I don't line my lips before I put on some gloss, I just kind of use it to make sure that everything is even, I guess you would say. And. Yeah, it's pretty simple. It took me, what, 15 minutes or less? And usually it takes me about 10 if I'm not talking and being ridiculous. So yeah, easy peasy. And now that I have my normal clothes on, I will add a little bit of bronzer to my BBs. And it, like I said, it's not bronzer, it's more like a, a shimmery powder, which is cool. And make sure that my skin tone is even, because right now I'm having a fake tan Attack, this is like the worst a fake tan would look, is when I've like scrubbed most of it off. But what I do is I tan maybe once a week, just to keep my um, pores open and have like a base tan. And then I spray tan the rest of the time because, of course, I don't want to get skin cancer or have leather leathery skin. Like a lot of people think, oh my god, you know, tanning at all is terrible, but it's actually not that bad for you. There's um, vitamins that are good for you in sunlight and it's pretty much the same. And if you do it in uh, moderation, it's not that bad. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope that my male-dominated audience was not too bored, but you guys got to see me without makeup, so there you go. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you check out my main channel, which is all about gaming. Bye, guys! What the I will be